Good day, everyone. My name is Obushaki Oluwakemi, our tutor from Best Rent Tutorial. Today, we're going to look at a very vital topic in English grammar, which is subject verb agreement. Subject verb agreement has to do with the concurrence of a subject and its verb in a sentence. The first and basic rule of subject verb agreement is that a singular subject takes a singular verb while a plural subject takes a plural verb. Here are examples. He dances well. They dance well. He, singular pronoun, dances, singular verb. They, plural pronoun, dance, plural verb. Another rule of subject verb agreement is that a subject before a phrase that begins with of takes a singular verb. Here are examples. The list of items is on the desk. The bouquet of flowers was ordered for by the bride. The list, singular, is, singular, the bouquet, singular noun, was, singular verb. However, for quantifiers or words that indicate portions, this rule is reversed and so we are guided by the noun or pronoun after all. And so we have a majority of the city is unemployed. A majority of the people are unemployed. And so we have the city, which has been treated as a unit, taking a singular verb. And then we have the people, which has been treated as a plural noun, taking a plural verb. Another rule of subject-verb agreement is that when two singular subjects are connected by or, either or, or neither nor, a singular verb is required. Here are examples. My aunt or uncle is arriving today. Either Amanda or Tracy has the book I am in need of. Or and is. My aunt singular, uncle singular, is singular verb. Either Amanda or Tracy, singular noun, singular noun, taking a singular verb. However, the verb agrees with the noun closest to it. The verb in an or, either or, or neither no sentence agrees with the noun or pronoun closest to it. That is, if the noun or pronoun is singular, it takes a singular verb, and if plural, it takes a plural verb. Here are examples. Neither the plate nor pot is clean. Neither the pot nor plate are clean. And so we are guided by the nouns closest, which are pot and plate. Pot, singular noun, is singular verb. Plate, plural noun, are plural verb. Another rule of subject-verb agreement, which is actually a general rule, is that when you have two or more subjects connected by and, it takes a plural verb. An example, cookies and fruits are my favorite. Cookies and fruits are my favorite. And so we have two subjects that have been connected by and taking a plural verb. However, an exception to that rule is that when we have nouns or complementary words in a particular sentence connected by and, a singular verb is required. Here are examples. Bread and butter is my usual breakfast combination. Breaking and entering is prohibited. And so we have complementary words, bread and butter. Here are examples. Bread and butter is my usual breakfast combination. Breaking and entering is prohibited. And so we have complementary words, bread and butter, as well as breaking and entering, taking singular verbs. Another exception is that when you have two singular subjects in which they refer to the same person or thing, it takes a singular verb. And so we have, my sister and confident is admirable. My sister, same person being referred to as the confident, remains a singular subject, taking a singular verb. And so this is all we're able to take for today. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe.